All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, they just had two new vehicles out of nowhere. You can check the patch notes here. Now, everything else is the same, except for that one thing, two new vehicles. Apparently, they're secret. I don't know what that means, but um, I'm pretty sure I know how to find both of them. And first off, we're gonna be talking about the snowmobile. All right, so we're in the street is that if you call Ranger Danger while on the ski mountain, the Rangers will come in with a ski thing. You'll know what I mean in a minute, the snowmobile. All right, let's do this person and look at that they have a snowmobile i'm gonna try to steal it if i can actually run away from them which it seems like it's working so far i don't think you have any idea ah oh, nice there we go first try i'm just gonna drive down here only oh, like goes down because I, I remember like it used to be like a bug where like you go into space quote unquote but now they seem to uh have actually fixed that i think you can drive up this too right Oh, you can. And I'm pretty sure no other vehicle can do that. That's actually really sick. And I'm assuming outside of snow, it's really slow. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, something I noticed is like the little front of the snowmobile. I'm pretty sure it's from the sneak peek as well. I definitely recognize that for sure. So the next thing I want to do with the snowmobile is I kind of wonder like how good are stunts on this thing? Like, can I do some flips on it or something? I don't know. And the perfect place to do that would be the snow track. But yeah, this is definitely seeming to be much better than snow tires. By the way, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can obtain this yet. So we're just gonna have to go with the Ranger version because if I could, I would customize it and like, you know, upgrade speed and whatnot. But unfortunately that is just not a thing yet, which is really weird in my opinion, but yeah. I wonder if I can like climb up this as well. I'm doing some epic parkour right now. Oh, never mind. okay. Overall, I'd say this new vehicle is really sick. I really like the way this is designed. The, there's no tires in it because it's a snowmobile, which is probably the only non-wire vehicle that had not have tires. It's cool. I really like it. And um, yeah, I'm just really hoping that one day you can actually like keep this vehicle, not just steal it. All right. So supposedly the next vehicle that's up there, the next secret quote unquote vehicle is the ATV. So to get your dirty little hands on this thing, you actually have to go to the racetrack or I think you can get it from multiple places, but I think the racetrack is for the dirt racetrack is the main way of getting it. Man, I'm still shocked about this because this update just came out of nowhere. They didn't even hype it up or anything, but I won't complain. But I do assume that in the future, they're going to make it obtainable, hopefully. Oh, yep. There we go. There it is. The new ATV. And honestly, it looks pretty fine. I like it. Like I said, there is a Ranger version of this. I just don't know where to find it yet, but this version also looks really nice. Also, if we take a closer look at the tires, it seems like it's um, off-road tires by default, which is also something to note, I guess. So it definitely does seem like this is very oriented around the whole dirt racetrack. Let's just see how it performs. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I think I like the uh, snowmobile more. This one's interesting, but I don't know, man. A lot of very vehicles can do what this vehicle's doing, but overall, it's still a very, very cool update. I could definitely see myself using this in like a racing event for the dirt track though. All right, well, I think I've had my fun with this thing already. There also is a Ranger version, by the way, as I said, so I'm gonna try to get my hands on that as well. Just gotta wrap myself out first, you know? Yep, there it is, there it is. I gotta get my hands on that. This might be my chance. Yes, there we go. Yo, that's perfect. Wow, this one's a lot faster. Jesus, though, this one's much faster than the uh, blue one I just got. Hopefully I can lose them, by the way. <laughs> well, before that happens, let's just take a close inspection. So as I said earlier, yes, it is much faster. And there's a lot more protection on this. You can see like all the little uh, metal things on. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, you can see that. It looks very cool, in my opinion. I'm going to take a picture of it to get a closer inspection. Yeah, it looks really cool up close. And the little lights on the front, that's also part of the sneak peek if you see the similarities there as well. Um, Yeah, I really like this one as well. The normal version is meh. But the Ranger version looks really sick. I really hope I can like own this as well. Yeah, by the way, once once they update the game and you can own this, I will also make my own video customizing it. And not only customizing it, but also doing like racing events with it to see the true potential of this thing. And one last thing, I really hope this thing isn't just like spending coins to obtain the item. I really hope there's like a special challenge or something in this game to obtain it because I'm really tired of like everything in the game being like just coins and that's it. Something I completely forgot to bring up is the way the dog looks when the, uh, when the dog shows up on here. Like if I go in the vehicle right now with my dog Aww. and the dog just goes in the front of it. That's so cute. I love that. That's probably my favorite part, if anything. Let's just hope he doesn't fall, though. 
Also for the snowmobile, I forgot to mention a couple things. Now the first thing is that, again, the dog can go in here and look at, look again, look at how cute the dog looks just sitting on the front of it. I really like that. And also the snowmobile can actually go up all these ski mounts and things, which no other vehicle can do. I did mention that earlier in the video, I think, but it can go all the way up to the tip of the, oh crap. It can, all the way, it can go all the way up to the tip of the top of this uh, ski mountain, which is really cool. As long as I don't get caught here. And yes, I believe that it even applies to the cave itself. Yeah, it sure does. Just don't forget that the snowmobile is basically dirt useless once it's outside of the snow. That's just something, that's like the one major downside about this vehicle, but overall cool. So the next part of this mini update I'd like to discuss is the new haircuts in this game. Now, as you can see, the arcade associate has an afro now. And I remember last time I played around with him, he had, you know, shorter hair. We didn't have shorter hair, but he didn't have an afro, but now he does. And apparently there's like mohawks and stuff like that, which also is very nice. And there is a new clothing customization for your friends. I'll show in a minute. I just got to invite over my friend first. And if I go to the glasses page, yep, you, as you can see, there is a brand new, uh, I don't know how to, what these are. These are just glasses, but they look slightly different. I'm not a huge fan of them. They look kind of ugly in my opinion, but that's just me. I don't know, man. I just prefer like sun. I just prefer like shades or something or like normal glasses, like a... Uh, like these look really cool. I like the lab ones, but nonetheless, it is still new. So I just thought I'd mention that. Oh, look at that. Look at the barista. I think the barista um, also got a new change. There's like the new hairstyle. That's another one. I don't know what the hairstyle is called, but it is a new hairstyle. Oh, here we go. I found someone with a mohawk. Here we go. Yeah, there's this dude over here and he has like a brown mohawk on him. He looks pretty cool in my opinion. And overall, all these hairstyles look really nice. I just really wish you could change the hairstyle in your friends. That'd look really sick, but Unfortunately, that is not a feature. In fact, a lot of the stuff the friends have, like for example, like the uh, surgeon mask or like the lab glasses or whatever, you can't really put those on your own character, which is also really sad. I wish I could do that, but unfortunately that is not a thing, but still, um, I really like these new hairstyles. One last thing I completely missed about the ATV is that apparently according to this Discord message, and thank you to this person on Discord for pointing this out, but apparently it's always the constant speed, no matter what. So if you're in the snow, the road, whatever, whether you're on anything, it will always be the same exact speed. And here's a video to like prove it, or here's the video that the uh, Discord user sent. But yeah, overall pretty cool stuff. I just wanted to show this real quick. And once again, thank you to this person on Discord. But yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys today. So I think the devs absolutely cooked with this update, especially considering that I wasn't expecting any update at all. I was planning another video for today, but they just randomly decided to drop this update. My next video is pretty interesting too, if you want to check that out. It's going to be, uh, no, nah, I won't spoil it. But anyway, that's all I have for today's video. If you think these new vehicles are cool, make sure to comment what your favorite one is. The snowmobile is much cooler in my opinion, but hey, that's just me. This ATV is also really awesome as well. But yeah, see ya.